Okay, so I'll give you a timeline. It's early morning. I have to drive across the state to take care of some personal business. And the car that was going to be scheduled today is canceled. So that's a perfect, uh, perfect opportunity to bring our S2000 in and do some changes to it. And one of the changes is something I'm so excited about. I don't know what it is about colored seat belts. That's the, obviously the title. You know what it is. I'm not trying to tease it. But red seat belts, I did it on the Integra. I did orange seat belts on the NSX. I remember George kind of bringing that to my attention and said, hey, look at these belts. And I was like, I never knew they existed, but it's not sponsored. We paid for them. Uh, but seatbeltplanet.com are the people that do this. You send them your seatbelt, they send them back. They have a million colors to choose from. We do have some colors in stock. I'll show you those in a little bit. I'm going to sell you these outright. You buy them, you deal with them, you can put them in, or if you want to add it to your job. But I'll show you what we've got. We're not going to be a service for these because it's, uh, it's a big pain in the rear trying to ship them and keep track and who's which and that, 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 that. So, First, we're going to show you how to do them, so if you want to buy our belts, you can put them in yourself. You ready? All right. Today, we're going to start putting new seat belts in our S2000. I've already started just a little bit. I've taken the seat out and that panel. I don't know how long this is going to take or what I'm going to have to remove. I'm pretty sure these roll bar hoops are coming out. They're fairly easy to come out. It seems, you know, somewhat daunting, but they come out fairly easy. Uh, the center console has to come out to pull them out, so... I'm thinking everything is going to end up being out of this before this is all said and done. So I'll take some video along the way and hopefully help you guys to do this on your own. Alright, so from what I can see, everything is coming out. So right now, the seats are out, the back panels just to here are out. So now I've got to put up the convertible top so I can get the under tray from the convertible top where it folds down. The tray that's in there, I have to put the top up, get all that out. And then we can start working on getting the center console out and these roll hoops out and we'll get this thing all finished up. But the, to pull that out, the front part comes out. I've got my box that I use for a convertible top so that I can keep track of all my hardware while doing it. That's always a good thing to have. If you go to uh, Harbor Freight or anything like that and you get some fuses or hardware or anything like that comes in these little boxes, save it. And then when you're working on your car on like a small interior job or something like that, you can take it and all those little compartments, you can separate things and know where it goes and makes it easier to put it back together. All right, we're inside the car. The center console is out completely. There's a lot of screws to that center console. That bin, that's the center console. So there's plenty of them in there. There's actually four special ones in the top that are flat so that it doesn't bother the lid when you close it. So. Now that those are out, there's a couple more screws over here and a couple more in here. And then we got those four bolts and then there's two there and two there. And this hoop should come out. Once this hoop's out, I'd like to think I see the seat belt and we're almost there. Okay, so once you're to this point, there's four screws that hold it on. There's one in the back that's covered by the under tray. There's two in the front and there's two over there in the corner. And once you've got all four of those out, you'll notice that that plastic is now loose. Same thing with this side. You can pull the plastic up and move it. So that's loose. Now we got to take out two, four, six, and eight bolts. There's another one behind that seat belt. And then the roll hoops come out and then we can get to the seat belts. All right, now we can say we're on the downslope. All of the plastics have been removed. The seat belt reels have been removed. Everything that needs to come out is out. I honked the horn with my back. Uh, like I said, got center console screws. So you know that goes in the center console. That's the driver's side hoop, the passenger side hoop. Those covers go over the seat belt buckles. These are the plastics on the inside of the car. And these are the push clips that go on the rear tray. So everything is separated so I know where it goes. This is where we are right now. I'll walk over to the bench and show you what we're doing and what we're replacing these with. All right, so now we have our driver side and passenger side seat belt reels out with the factory black webbing. 
Now if you have a black interior, it's pretty boring. They blend right in. I think these seat belts are just, it, it's one of the best things you can do because the first thing you notice when you open the car, you open the car and you say, wow, it has red seat belts. No matter how custom the interior is or what you've done or anything like that, or if it's stock, to me, I notice that first every time. And that's why I talked John into doing these in the NSX because the orange seat belt really set that thing off. And also, if you have any of these out and unplugged, these go to the airbag computer. If you turn on the ignition with these out, it will throw an airbag light that you will have to go to the dealer to have reset. So once you have these out and unplugged, do not, do not turn on your ignition. All right, so normally at this point, you would take your seat belt, you have to package it up and ship it to uh, the place that we use is called seatbeltplanet.com. So when you ship them out, they reweb them in the color of your choice. They have tons and tons of colors. We even have a few sets in stock, which I will show you the colors we have uh, at the end of this video. But we are opting for red in our car. So these red belts, like I said, came back from seatbeltplanet.com. You ship them your reel. They reweb it and ship you back your reel. So if you do this on your own and you don't buy a set from us, it takes a little while to come to get them back. So hopefully it's not your daily driver because like I said, when those are unplugged, don't turn the ignition on or else you're gonna be throwing codes. So these are what we're gonna put in our car. And like I said, there we have a couple other colors, I think two other colors in stock for 2000, 2005 and one for 2006 through 2009. I'll show you those at the end, but let's get to installing these. So now the roll hoops back in, screwed in. The red belts already look better in here. They already stand out big time. Just wait till the rest of the interior is back together. So the next thing that goes in, center console. All right, after you get all the plastic back in, your center console completely back in. Those look great, don't they? These also come out, they're back in. Basically, when your little tray of hardware is almost empty, you can put the top down. It's easier to put the seats in with the top down and get to the bolts that hold those buckles in on either side. I need to put the top back up a little bit, actually, because if you look straight there, it would be easier with the top up just a little bit. So I'll do that, and we'll get this thing finished up. Also, something to note when doing your seat belts, when you tighten this bolt, make sure this still swivels. Same thing for down here. When you tighten that bolt on the floor, make sure that still swivels. All right, ready for the big reveal? Oh yeah. That looks great. Brings a little bit of red inside. They look really bright. It's probably because of that light right above me. They look way brighter than they do in person. But yeah, that is, uh, that's great. I love colored seat belts. So now that these are all done, I'm gonna go ahead and get out the boxes of seat belts we have. I think we have five total sets. I'm gonna get them out and show you the colors in case you wanna do this to your own car. That looks absolutely amazing, red on red. So real quick, I'm gonna show you what seat belts we have in stock. This is it right here, cobalt blue. This looks amazing on Laguna Blue. On the 06 and up S2000, we have one set in stock for that. That's 2006 to 2009 direct bolt in. These are OEC belts recolored. We have two sets of red, 2000 to 2005 and that is only the gonna fit that year and then 2000 to 2005 in silver gray which this color kind of looks good on the silver gray cars it always also looks good on red it's a little bit of a subtle change without being too loud just adds a little color red goes on pretty much anything on a white car red car black car i mean even a blue Silver, this color goes in everything. That's why we bought so many of these. But again, all we have left, 2000 to 2005. This is just, it's obviously my favorite color. You've seen my cars in the past. Red, that is just terrific. But this color, on a Laguna Blue, 
This is called Cobalt Blue by SeatbeltPlanet.com. But on a, that's what we have. Let us know if that's something you want. We'll sell you these. You can watch the video and install them and add a little bit of color to your S2000. This is just something that it, it really makes the car. Adds a little color, brightens it up, makes it look a little better. But I mean, check them out. Blue, red, and then the silver gray. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video. Don't forget, enjoy your cars and enjoy your seatbelts.